it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I am at St Ives Brewery in Cornwall. Wonderful brand new sparkling brewery that's been opened about five months. If you want to see a brewery tour of this video, have a look at St Ives Brewery Tour. You'll find it on YouTube with me running around. We've also, we're brewing a double IPA today at this brew, fantastic brew house. But we're on a rest, like a mash rest. So we got maybe 45 minutes to play with. So whilst we have a spare mash rest, I always find the time and the place in the small area of the brewery. Here's the fermenters here to do a beer review. So today we got Zena. It's an oatmeal stout at 5.2% ABV, 440 milliliter can. All of the beers going forward are um, 440 milliliter cans. They started off with 330. Well, they actually started off St. Ives Brewery with bottles. They still bottle. Um, they started with 330 mil cans, but now they've gone on to the, to the more, I would say, more popular 440 milliliter cans. So, without further ado, fresh beer from a brand new brewery. Drinking beer at the brewery's place, where it's brewed, it is, there's nothing quite like it. This can has not been on a lorry, it's, it, it's not travelled far, it, it's just stayed here. And what you'll find with that is, the beer tastes even more special. So beer in the glass, I've come, I put a little trolley here so I'm not cutting myself away. beer in the glass look at this look at this we've got a four finger tan colored head jet black beer in the glass looks absolutely fantastic look at that creamy rich looking head let's get the aroma Loads of the oak coming through. Quite rich, chocolatey, bit of dark chocolate. Fresh coffee. A little bit of sweet caramel. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a beer. Rich, creamy, oatmeal-like, creamy, medium mouth, mouth feel to it. This flavor's a bit of that chocolate coming through. Fresh coffee. And sweet caramel but they're not flavors that have been added to the beer it's this is all coming from the roasted malt that's been used to brew the beer now the brewer will use this roasted malt and they'll use enough of it not overly it, it's not overly done this one it's, it's absolutely spot on where you still get the creaminess of the oats you're still getting that lovely oaty biscuity flavor oh. but you're still getting that kind of chocolate, coffee and caramel at the same time. Fantastic, and that, as, as I mentioned, that comes from the roasted malt. So what the brewer will do, from the maltings, they'll buy roasted malt. And that's, that roasted malt has been basically roasted at the maltings to create that fantastic, creamy, rich, coffee, chocolate flavor that, that just makes these oatmeal stouts fantastic. So Zena, why is it called Zena?
is basically Zena is a part of the coastline, part of the kind of rugged coastline of St Ives in Cornwall. Really rugged, natural, beautiful part of the land. I imagine this won't be my last Senna today. That reason being, once we finish this brew here today, this double, we're brewing a double IPA with citra, citra hops, a couple of other hot amarillo, and we're using like one of those HBC experimental hops in the beer, and a little touch of citra as well in our double IPA. But once we finish brewing, once this brew day is finished, we're going to be heading into St Ives. Some beers, we're going to a place called Beer and, beer and Bird, which is beer and chicken. It's going to be tremendous, I can't wait. But I'm sure I'll be drinking some more of this Zenith when I'm there. Not too bitter on the back end, not too sweet. This is what I would call a classic, classic oatmeal stout. One of my favorite beer styles is the oatmeal stout. And that's purely for its richness. The creamy mouthfeel, wonderful taste. Absolutely brilliant beer. Able to roll a bit roll it around a bit in the glass and I'll get the nose. Amazing. Absolutely amazing aroma. Absolutely amazing taste. I'm hoping, because we had a chat with Marco, one of the owners of the, the brewery, we had, a, we had an interview with him yesterday. And the future, is, the future of this brewery is to put these beers into the likes of Tesco's and Morrison's and Asda. I'm hoping in South Wales, we're literally just north of here. I'm hoping that I can pick this up in my local Morrison's or Tesco or Asda. Because it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic beer. I like that Zena enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.